After creating the axis network in our previous video, we gonna add axis point in the middle of the modeling, and in after that we also create the columns. This is our previous modeling which we had previously created. This is a single line axis which we can create the line in the modeling. You can create the line where is needed. To delete this line, we use this tool. Click here and selecting the line which we want to delete. You can see the line is already deleted. This is parallel axis tool. We will use this tool to create a line. We will create the line over here, which is quite easy to create by using this tool. Select the starting node and another node then input a distance of 3000. Upon pressing enter, the selected nodes will move parallelly to a distance of 3000 from its original position. We will repeat the same steps here. As you can see, we have successfully created the line. Now, we also need to create the line axis over here. We will do the same steps, but distance will be in negative so type minus 3000 and press enter. Also repeat the same steps for this. You can see this white dot over here. This small white dot is called node. But here we can't see it because we just created this line. So we will put the nodes in those line which were recently created. To add nodes is very simple. By simply clicking on this tool, the nodes will be added everywhere. So we need to use this tool every time if we create the new line on the model. Save this to minimize the risk of losing the work. After creating the axis network, we will name to every axis. Click on this tool. Then we will name the each axis here. Click over here inside the axis network. So we will name this axis one then press enter. Select another and name it two and press enter. If there are so many axes to name, then it will take too much time. So let it make it easy to save time. Click here, then press tab button on keyboard, then select the starting axis, then press ESC button, then type number three, then press enter. Now you see the name. Okay, click here to name another side of the axis, then press tab button. Then select the starting axis, then press ESC button. After that, give this side name with alphabet A, then press enter where you can see that the name A, B, C, D axis are set. If you want to remove the name of the axis, then you can click here, then select the axis. Suppose I don't want name on this axis, so I select this axis, then press enter. The name is removed. I just show you to how to remove the name on the axis if necessary. I will put the previous name 7. Finally, we finished naming on the axis. Let's go to Members section. This is Beam. We will use this to create the beams. This one is Column and this one is Wall. Let's go to the Beam. We will create the different sizes of Beam which we gonna need in the modeling. This is to create a new Beam. This one is to delete. And this one is to modify. Let's create a beam. Click here. This one is the shape of different beams where you can see the different shape of beams are available. We use rectangle one, which is in the number first. You don't need to do anything. It is selected rectangle by default. This one is the materials where brick is one, steel is five, Concrete is six and others material. We will select number six, which is concrete. This is the breadth of the beam. And this is the height of the beam. Here we will take 250. Here we will take 400. 
Click here to confirm. Now you can see here we have successfully created the beam size of 250 by 400. You can modify by clicking here if you want to change the size of the beam. I will change tit to 200 for a while. Now beam size is changed. Or also can modify by double clicking here. Then I will put the size as it before. Okay, let's create different size of the beam like we did before. These are the different sizes of beams which we're going to use later while modeling the structure. You want to delete the beam which you don't want to use. Here we already created different sizes of beam. We will only use some of them, but we must have to create or define them. Maybe we're going to need, or sometimes we need to change the beam position on the structure modeling. After defining the beam, we're going to place the beam in our axis network. I select 250 by 500 beam and place over here. Clicking on this can place beam at once like this. And this can put the beam by selecting the nodes like this. We use this where beams are required in selective way. Now we use this option to save time. This select the whole axis. I use another size and place over here. 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 And here. Select the another size of beam and change the option for single to place the beam. Now beam is successfully placed. And if the beam is mistakenly placed where beam is not required, then we need to delete that beam by selecting this tool, then click on first one. After this, select the beam which you want to delete, then click right, and the beam is successfully deleted. Click here again to delete the multiple beam, then select the beam by clicking on left button on mouse, then right click somewhere in the blank, then the beams are deleted. Put all back as it was before. I just want to show you how to delete the beam if you mistakenly place where beam are not required. Okay, now this part is more important. Over here, I want to change the size of the beam. To do that, I select 250 by 400 beam. Before all these, let's check the all the sizes of the beam which we had already placed on the axis network. To check the beam sizes of the network. Select this icon and the first one is for beams so click on it. After this you can see the all the sizes of the beams on the whole network. Or you also can see the beam sizes by clicking on this icon. Click it to hide and click it again to see the sizes of the beam. Okay let's get back. Go to the beam section. I want to change this beam by 250 by 400. So select it. And place over here by clicking. Also here. 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 And finally here, you can see how simply we change the beam size. To change you don't need to delete the beam, just simply select the size and place it over where you want to change the size of the beam. Click on this, you can change the font sizes, you can decrease and increase the font size. This much for today's video. In this video we learned how to define the beam and place it on the axis. Next video we gonna learn about column.